The DM-52 is a very efficient drill for dry drilling when used properly. The two most common mistakes made by operators are one, pushing too hard, and two, trying to drill with a glazed bit. It must first be understood that dry core drilling is a different process than wet core drilling. Dry core drilling requires a much lighter downforce than wet core drilling, and the rotation speed is higher. The operator must allow the tool to do the cutting at its own pace. Increasing the downforce will not result in faster progress. It will actually slow it down. Since the increased load will result in slower rotation speed, as well as overheating of the diamond segments. Excessive downforce will also lead to the motor's overload protection and or its mechanical clutch to slip. If the overload trips again and again, or if the clutch slips again and again, that means you are using the tool improperly. Generally, if the load increases slowly, the overload protection will trip first. If the load increases suddenly, then the clutch will slip first. Once the clutch slips, release the trigger. Do not allow the clutch to continue slipping. This will lead to premature wear of the clutch. If you are using the tool properly, the situation of the clutch slipping will occur only rarely. One must also understand the principle of how a diamond tool works. The diamond segments have small diamonds embedded throughout the bond matrix of the segment. Under ideal conditions, the diamond segments will be self-sharpening. As the bond matrix abrades away, new diamonds will be exposed, which keep the segments sharp. The DM-52 is equipped with soft percussion function, which will help to keep the diamonds sharp and assist in dust removal. This is a different purpose from the hard percussion of a hammer drill, which is meant to hammer the head of a masonry twist drill into the workpiece. If the bit stays sharp with the soft percussion switched off, it may not be necessary to use it. If the bit glazes easily, then keep the soft percussion switched on. Sometimes, if the work material is not abrasive enough, the diamond segments will polish smooth, meaning the diamonds are no longer projecting out of the bond matrix in the segment. This is called glazing. You should be able to feel the diamonds in the cutting face of the segments with your fingernail. If the bit becomes glazed and it seems to cut very slowly, even if you use a lot of downforce, then it is necessary to sharpen the bit. Trying to use brute force to make the glazed bit cut will not work. All that will achieve is to either trip the overload or slip the clutch. To sharpen the bit, simply drill into a sharpening plate a few times to re-expose the diamonds. If a sharpening plate is not available, then drill into an abrasive material such as cinder block as many times as necessary to restore diamond exposure and cutting performance. Correct operation using a light amount of downforce will result in the fastest progress. As drilling progresses, pull the bit back occasionally to allow the dust to clear the kerf. Always use a vacuum cleaner. This will help to cool the bit as well as clearing dust. Too much dust in the kerf will overstress the motor and will jam more easily. A small amount of rocking of the bit is acceptable to help cutting progress, but avoid large angles which will cause the bit to jam. If the bit becomes jammed, unplug the tool and use a wrench to rock the bit back and forth to free it. Do not try to free it by switching the tool on and off. That will only overheat the motor and slip the clutch.